In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a business email with GoDaddy. So this will be using a domain that you've already bought with inside GoDaddy. So here's how you can do it. I'll do it together with you step by step. So once you're on GoDaddy and you're logged in, go to your profile in the top right hand corner, go to my products, and here you should see all of your products and all of your domains. If you don't see all of them, then what I would do is go to my account, then go to domains, and then you will actually see all of them. Now we're going to use this one here, searchbasedmethod.com. So we'll click on that. Now, once you're on the back end of that domain, you can then go to products. From here, you can scroll down and here you'll see email and it will say get custom email with at yourdomain.com. Click on get started and it will take you to the next window. Now, there are two different plans that you can use. One is going to be Microsoft email essentials and one's going to be Microsoft business professional. Now, the first one will cost £1.99 per month and then the second one is going to cost £8 per month. And essentially the differences are this one will allow you to manage your emails inside of GoDaddy's email provider. And this one here will allow you to add it to programs like Office 365, Word, Excel, and so on. And then it will also give you more storage. But for me, I just need this one. I can just manage my email inside of their email provider. And this is the one I'm going to show you. So I'm going to choose this one. We're going to click add to cart and we're going to figure this out together. Okay, so now we are inside of the order summary and now you can see the price. Now this is the price for 12 months. If you want to change it to monthly, click on one month and the price will update. And you'll then just get a monthly subscription. You can then cancel at any time. You can see here it renews monthly for $6.99 per month. I'm going to go ahead and complete the purchase now and I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so now that's gone through, we can now go ahead and activate our products. So we've paid for it now. We can now just activate it. So now we've actually got that product and we've got that GoDaddy service. It's going to ask us what domain we want to use. Again, we're choosing the domain searchbasemedia.com. So we'll click on that. You can choose any of your domains though in your account then click continue. So now it should add in your domain here and your email is going to be whatever you type in this box at searchbasemethod.com. So because my name is Bradley, we're going to create an email here called Bradley at searchbasemethod.com. Again, you could put here contact or support, really anything that fits here and you probably have your own reasons. Then enter in your first and last name and choose your account type and if you want to give yourself admin permissions, make sure this is on yes. Then go ahead and create a password. This will be the password for your account. And then you also want to enter in an email which you can send your account info to. I do believe this will be to regain access into your account if you do forget the password as well. So make sure you have access to this email. Okay, so now I've done all of that, we're going to go ahead and create. And there you go, that's creating. And they're going to let us know when it is ready. Now you can see, with the overview page, if you scroll down, you can see the users and this is setting up. So we should be able to access this sometime soon. Okay, so now they've sent me an email. They've also given me a notification in the overview saying we can't create it until you verify you own this domain. I don't know why they've actually said that because the domain is bought through GoDaddy. But if you get this, just click on help me fix this. Now, if you've messed around with any DNS records, you're going to have to just put them right and add these two txt records and cname records and also this mx record i'm going to show you how you can do that so what i would do is i'd go back to your domain portfolio and we can then go to dns now we're going to go ahead and go to name servers and just make sure that they're on the default godaddy name servers if you're having trouble this might also be why and now we've updated the name servers now perhaps we won't have any issues so i'm going to go back and we're going to refresh and see if it still asks us to verify we own it. So it does. So I'm going to click help me fix it. And if this happens to you, I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So you need to add two TXT records, two CNAME records and one MX record. Fairly easy stuff, right? So we'll go to the back end of our domain. We'll go DNS records and then we'll start to add this. So we'll go add record. We want to first add the TXT records. So for the name, type in at. And then for the value, you want to copy in the first value, then paste it in here, then click save. So that is the first one added. We'll now go ahead and add new record. We'll go type, we'll go txt, at, and then the value we'll just copy here. So really all we're doing is we're copying it from this web page here. So then we'll paste it in, we'll click save. For some reason it asks me to set to verify for every single one. So I'm going to add these now. You can add your CNAME records in the same exact way and the MX record as well. So now I've added all of these records and we finally added them and verified. And we can now go ahead and click I'm done. 
and it's then going to check these DNS records. Now this could take a while for the checks to go through for it to actually propagate. So they're checking it right now. So let's see. Okay, so now after a while, it says we finished setting up your email. Your email is ready to use. You can then go ahead and click sign in and it then should redirect you to the GoDaddy sign in where we can then log in with the password that we gave it. And there we go. Finally, we should be signed in. Now there's a lot of confirmation and verifications that I had to do. There's a lot of waiting around for the DNS records to actually work and update. But once they've updated and once you've added them, like I did just on video, you should then be inside of your email. You can see we're in Bradley at searchbasemethod.com. From here, what we can do, we can go ahead and create a new email. You're going to have to go to your email first. So click on the three dots in the top left, then go to Outlook, and then you should be logged in with your email. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can get back here as well after you've set it all up. So here we are inside of Outlook, inside of the new email, which we've just set up. So I know this is quite long and quite confusing, but here's how you can get back to it. Now, you should be logged in through Outlook. So if you just go to Outlook again, you should be logged into your domain. Otherwise, you can go to GoDaddy just to double check. You can go to my account and you can then go to email and office. Then once you're in email and office, you can then go ahead and scroll down and you can sign into your email here. You can also download office if you want to. You can see there's no issues now with the email. Everything is good. If we wanted to click sign in, we can sign in. But again, it's going to take us straight to Outlook where we can just continue and sign in. And again, you would have to sign in. But that's how you can do it. You can then send and receive emails. Um, I know that might be quite long and complicated, but just follow along and rewatch the video if needed. Thank you for watching.